Today we're going to be uh, smoking a Boston butt and I'm trimming the fat off of the bottom there and uh, I trim most of my fat off. Some people leave that on but I trim most of mine off because I like to uh, form a lot of bark on the bottom and all around it and uh, yeah so you want to any of this big fat I, I trim it off pretty good so we can get some bark forming. This is the top here on it and uh, we'll be using an injection also. Uh, my injection is apple juice, salt, and uh, it's pretty simple, uh, but inject that all over. And uh, yeah, I just do it about every about every inch. Flip it over uh, on the top and let it rest in those juices for, I don't know, about an hour. We got our coals here on the right. We got them, uh, I've got about 10 or 12 of them getting ready to... Uh, uh, they're starting to get hot and then we're going to put them uh, Right here in the center here on the fire I'm gonna put those hot coals right in the center and then I'm gonna take that little coffee can uh, Thing out of there and then it's gonna slowly light the other uh, Charcoal now under this charcoal. I've got Probably four or five apple chunks spaced out under that charcoal there. So that'll give us some uh, wood smoke there and then uh, about every 30 minutes or so, I'll put a wood chunk on top of these coals here, and that'll give us the fire. But we're just waiting on this right here to, uh, these uh, coals right here to get real hot. Uh, they usually, when they're about, I don't know, those briquettes get grayed over there pretty good, I'll uh, dump them into this center thing. So, man, we got a pretty, uh, pretty bad day to barbecue, but it's all right. We'll, uh, we'll work through it. All right, we got our coals in the center there, the hot coals, and we're going to try to take this uh, center thing off of here, this coffee can little thing. And I'm going to lift that up, and that's going to slowly start all these coals right here out on the outside perimeter, just slowly through our cook. We don't want to start them all and be too hot, and we're only going to get this thing, we're going to cook it about 250 degrees. So uh, we've got that stage done. I'm going to put on the the uh, rest of the cooker here all right here we go i got my uh lid back on my smoker now and this is a, a weber smoker it's a 14 and a half inch uh weber and uh sometimes they call this a bullet and i bought this to travel around there in our coach i can put this under the bay and uh get it out if we uh Feel like we need some barbecuing and uh, you can do a lot of things on this and uh, i've done some mods of this one i put this temperature gauge on it i put these two vents extra vents and you kind of need that when you're doing like chicken and stuff to get it uh to cook hotter um, i've got this cajun bandit uh stainless steel door on there and uh, on the bottom there i've got a 3 8 steel grate that i've uh put in there it, that's another mod and it's got real small um uh, slits in it so that when your coals uh will stay up on that uh on that fire grate longer uh so you can, you can get pretty much all the heat off of those coals you can the stock one's got a pretty wide uh, pretty wide uh, you know the coals will fall through it uh easier so um, this little great thing is 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 a, a good mod you can do on these, and um, I'm running a barbecue guru too. It's a it's a um, uh, a kind of a a set control where it it, it stokes the fire and all that. But uh, we're waiting for this thing to get up to uh, uh, two fifty. That's what we'll be we'll be uh cooking at right there but this thing does a great job and, and this is a great uh little unit if you want to get into barbecue and and uh, i think the first one i had i made one out of an old weber grill with a tamale pot right there in the center and you don't need a, a you know a real expensive rig uh like chuck egner told me one time it's not the it's not the car it's the driver got a rub on here i've put use this uh, uh bad byron's uh, butt rub and head country from oklahoma uh on today's stuff i use different stuff but uh, uh bad byron i like his his uh 
stuff is fine. Uh, it's kind of got a fine mesh, and uh, it really does some good bark. But all right, that's going to sit for a little while, and our smoker gets up to 250, we'll put it on. I have smoker here. It's about 275, so uh, we're getting pretty close. Um, I'm going to start uh, going here and get the uh, the butt and put it on and then I won't be able to show that part because it's two-handed deal <laughs> and I've got to open this lid and try to we're trying to save this heat so I'm gonna have to act fast um, and then I'm gonna get the uh, show you a little thing here I got my temperature gauge in here but with this uh, wire you can see we're gonna hook up a barbecue guru it's a temperature thing and I'm gonna shut these vents down here on the bottom I'm gonna shut them off and then we're gonna uh, let this uh, barbecue guru take over and it'll read the temperature of the smoker and then it'll uh, control the fan here. You'll, I'll show you when I get it hooked up. The fan goes in right there at that inlet and uh, it'll control our cook. Uh, that way, uh, like today, where the our conditions aren't ideal, uh, man, it's great. You, you can shut these vents off and then let the blower and then uh, we can control or cook a lot better. All right, y'all. My uh, we got the uh, bud on there, and you can see the temperature is oh right there. We want it to be 250. I've shut all the vents off, and we got our uh, uh, now this temperature gauge here on the right by the where the meat is is showing 264. But uh, this blower right here got hooked up. It won't. It won't kick on till uh, it, it gets below 250 or close to 250. So, and I've shut all these vents off, so we shouldn't have too much problem with the wind now. And uh, uh, so, there we go. Now, what what we're going to do now? We're gonna we're gonna smoke this thing for about five hours, and I'm not going to lift this lid. That's where you. Uh, um, that's where you mess up. So here's my hint of the day. Um, do not lift that lid and, uh, uh, kind of a barbecue rule, uh, with smoking is if, uh, if you're looking, you ain't cooking. And, uh, I take that to heart. And, uh, so we're not going to lift this lid to about five hours. And, uh, however bad you want to, uh, look at this thing, don't do it because, uh, you want all that moisture in there. Um, that you know this fat's going to be rendering so you want all that moisture inside the smoker and it's going to produce uh, the smoke and that bark and I'll show you when the when this bark forms after about five I don't know usually around five to five and a half hours uh, this bark is going to be uh, it is going to look great and so the key to that is don't lift the lid okay now Every 30 minutes, we're gonna open this door and we're gonna put in uh, some apple. And uh, I like apple, fruit, any kind of fruit wood. Uh, I use apple, cherry, pecan, any kind of fruit. I don't use much hickory. Um, I just like the taste of this, this fruit wood. The apple, pecan, uh, cherry I use a lot and uh, on pork. And uh, so we'll put a chunk kind of like this right in that on top of the fire about every 30 minutes okay here we go we want to check this you can see what it's doing here you can hear that blower right there and what that's doing is stoking that fire in this my temperature gauge is right there by the by the butt uh right there on the the grill uh, where the butt is so it's it's sensing the temperature when it falls below that it's telling this blower to uh, give the, the pit down here more air and uh, That's going to stoke the fire and it's going to try to hold it right there at 250 All right, this has been about five and a half hours and uh, the uh, the bark is set. You can see where it's not moving on us, and uh, we're good. So we're gonna next step is we're gonna take this in off the off the smoker, and we're gonna wrap it. All right, we got uh, got our uh, butt off the smoker there, and uh, we got uh, about a half a cup of brown sugar on top here. 
We got a uh, stick of butter that's uh, uh, I sliced it thin, and then I'm gonna wrap this in this aluminum foil, and then I'm gonna uh, pour some of this uh, secret uh, mixture here. This is a uh, ten, two, and four, Dr Pepper. We're gonna put about oh about a half a can of that in there. So uh, all right, I'll get this thing wrapped up, and then we look like we might have. I'd say probably around two to three hours and uh, in there and we'll uh, check it after that. All right, we'll just uh, pull this off smoker here. We got one uh, looking for 206. There it is. And so we're going to tint this uh, uh, aluminum foil and let it rest an hour before we uh, get to pull it. So. We're going to tin it and let it rest an hour. Okay, this is after an hour of rest, and what happens is all that uh, juice down there at the bottom, it'll go back into the meat after an uh, hour rest. That's why you want to rest before you pull it. And uh, this bone right here is uh, pretty loose. It'll pull right out of there, so that's what you want. It's, you know, it's done, and we, we uh, temperature red 206, so we're good there. We're gonna go ahead and pull it and I'll get back with you. All right, y'all, this is it. Made quite a bit, looks pretty good. All right, there you have it, pulled pork.